everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. Today we are checking out the 1 in 4th scale Iron Man Mark 43 Age of Ultron. This was announced for pre-order today on April the 1st, 2015, over at Secret Base Hot Toys in Hong Kong. And its release date will be quarter 1 or quarter 2, 2016. That's the estimated release date in Hong Kong. This isn't up for pre-order yet over at Sideshow, but I'm sure it pretty much will be very shortly. The price for this direct from Secret Base Hot Toys is 3,400 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 300 pounds, 440 US dollars. That's if you pick it up and order in person at the store. Now, just very quickly to tell you guys that there's a video at the end of this uh, photo gallery where I took the footage over at Toy Soul. That was in December 2014, where you can see the back of it and how you can actually see how they changed the armor around a little bit. You can see here the Tony Stark head sculpt, where there actually is a new head sculpt for Robert Downey Jr. So Hot Toys have done something a bit different because it's firstly a one in fourth scale. They've redone the head sculpt and they've improved the articulation of this. There's actually over 40 points of, of articulation. I think you can see on the forearms, you'll show up very shortly, you'll see that there are rockets that they've included there with extra flaps, not only on the legs, but on the back, the rear of the legs, which actually all light up. There's also a light up feature that shines through on the chest, very similar to the Mark 17 Heartbreaker. This also comes with the diorama base where the Ultron Sentry that is the accessory, it's actually not fixed. The arms and the head is detachable. I think it's just one arm that's detachable, but it's the fact that it comes with a really nice diorama base, a little bit different than the Mark 43 1 in 6 scale, because that comes with the Ultron Mark 1 version. This stands at around 20 inches high, but if you include the base, it may be a couple of inches higher than that as well. So you're looking at 21, 22 inches, which is encroaching on the Hulkbuster height. So this is the footage over at Toy Soul. You can see that it's slightly different. I think they may have tweaked the proportions a little bit. The forearm gauntlet you see there is open and it doesn't show the rocket there. So that's something a little bit different that they've changed. You can also see that the base, they haven't included one previously, but they've included that on this final version that is the prototype on display over at Secret Base at the moment. I generally don't collect 1 in 4th scale figures. This is the first Iron Man 1 in 4th scale from Hot Toys. I'm quite impressed by it because I've seen it in person now. I'm still a little bit concerned about the size, but if you're a 1 in 4th scale collector and you like Iron Man, I think this is an absolute must. What really sets this apart from the 1 in 6th scale, I wouldn't say is the detail. I would say is actually the flaps on the legs which is so unique and different that hasn't been seen on any other Iron Man armor yet. One other thing that I've seen definitely that's dis definitely a massive uh, distinguishing factor is the shoulder pads. And I think you can see here, the shoulder pads sit a lot more trim, much more snug than on the Mark 42. The Mark 42 shoulder pads are interchangeable because it had a battle damage variant. Um, as an option when you're displaying it. So that had to be a magnetic, so they had a little mechanism for taking that out. Whereas on this one, it sits a lot more flush. To me, it fits better in terms of proportions. So I'm still 50-50 whether or not I'll pick this up, but it looks fantastic. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check it out on the Facebook group, Sideshow Freaks. I'm sure there'll be loads of uh, photos of this flying around so thanks guys for watching and we'll see you all at the next video